All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day two of our coronavirus experiment. Not experiment, experience, sorry about that. Uh, first of all, a disclaimer in this video, uh, my opinions are my opinions. They, I'm not projecting them on anybody else or do, am I in any way disrespecting or anything like that, other people's opinions, because if I choose to do one thing and they choose to do another, I have nothing against what they choose to do. Everybody's their own person. But anyway, moving on. Uh, the biggest, most important thing about this video is Ryan was like, Oh, well, Daddy, can you do this one? Uh, I'm going to sit this one out and blah, 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 blah. So uh, here I am. Now, me personally, if I was on that side of the camera, I would kind of be on to be like, where's Ryan? So in the comments or whatever you can do, uh, show Ryan some support so he can be here through the rest of our videos. Anyway, as far as day two is concerned, where we live in, in Avery County, North Carolina, and before somebody, well, I'm not somebody, a lot of people let me know that I bleeped out when I was saying where I lived, but at the beginning of the video it said it. So, Avery County, North Carolina, that's where I live. All right, uh, today, I've really, me personally, I've stayed away from the news today. Uh, I made, me and my son made a great video. I think it was called something to the effect of my son practicing social distancing, I think it was something like that. And let's just put it to you this way. It's us and it's a lot of guns, all right? So uh, I'll leave a link to that video in the below. And at the end of the video, I'll, let, I'll make it pop up where you can click on it so you can watch that as well. But I've stayed away from the news and we've made these videos today, me and my son. And we've kind of done some housework and just kind of chilled out and we haven't really even talked about it that much. It's going to be kind of maybe a day like you where from what I saw, not, not there hasn't been any significant changes. So it's kind of been that day where you're just kind of wondering what's going to happen next and you're waiting for the next CNN alert on your phone. And that's kind of the way my day has been except for the phone part. I've really not paid attention to my phone as far as that's concerned. And it's kind of relaxing, man, because it was it was almost like uh, it was just a straight up Saturday or Sunday, a weekend, whatever, uh, where we just chilled out and enjoyed not having to go to appointments or work or whatever else, and it just felt so good just to chill out. So uh, I encourage you. I'm gonna treat the rest of this, however long it lasts. I'm gonna kind of treat it like like it is a Saturday where my son doesn't have school or my wife doesn't have work or whatever when everybody can just chill out and have kind of a free day. And if you really look at it, for a lot, a lot of people, now that there's some people that are still, there's some people, their jobs are going to give them more freedom to not come and there's other jobs where there's people come no matter what. And first off, I salute anybody who's uh, kind of on the front lines of all this and and uh, putting themselves in harm's way to help others, I salute you for that most definitely. But uh, I'm really trying to look at this as a mentality of, yeah, it's isolation in, in some forms and stuff like that, but at the same time, you have your family together. Uh, the weather's been pretty good where we live, a little bit cold, but you know that's not a, that big of a deal. And we've just been hanging out, and there's been a lot of laughing and joking and playing. Now, at times, there's been concern you know you hear some headlines and you hear a, a, I think there was a new case about 20 minutes from us so that that's obviously uh, worrisome and stuff like that but at the end of the day we're doing everything we can as a family to protect ourselves and that's all that matters and and we do have faith in God that God is going to take care of us there's no doubt about that uh, we're taking some precautions in the meantime but in no way does that mean that we have less faith uh, I think common sense on what I think should happen or what we should do is one thing, but then there might be another person that their common sense factor might say to do something different. So instead of me thinking, why don't people see the way I see or why don't I see what they see, it doesn't even matter. Just as long as we're all safe and we're helping uh, prevent the spread of this thing. And while we're doing that, we're, we're enjoying ourselves and we're not getting down and we're not getting depressed and and things like that, and I think that's very important. So uh, j I think this situation, just like anything else in life, you can look at it as a blessing, or you can look at it as this 
inconvenience, which it definitely is inconvenient, but man, I'll tell you the best remedy I've had so far, obviously getting in my Bible, obviously praying is the top, but really, man, not paying attention to the news, not, and I'm not saying the news is, is not true or whatever, I'm not giving my opinion on what the media is, but just, you know how you get, whether it was 9-11 or coronavirus or anything, you sit in front of your TV and even though you want to get up, man, you're like waiting for that next headline to pop, like this many more dead or this many more confirmed and all that. And that's kind of how it draws you in. So I'm kind of trying to distance myself from that. Uh, if I think if anything uh, really relevant, I'll get a CNN app to my phone and then when I check my phone, eventually I'll see it. So uh, I hope that you guys have found some of the pieces that I've found in this situation as far as God's given me the ability to just be so carefree and worry-free and really look at, it's been such a blessing to wake up every day and have all this time together and uh, I'll be honest now, let me put my honest hat on, here's my honest hat. This might sound weird, but if you're dealing with injuries like PTSD and uh, mental illness, behavior illness, and stuff like that, that lead to depression and isolation, I do have to admit, okay, it makes this a lot easier because I was doing this stuff way before coronavirus. I've been doing this stuff since 2006. I'm not proud of it, you know, whatever, whatever, the isolation, the depression, everything that comes along with PTSD and all those things. So if something comes along in the world that they're like, you need to go isolate and you need to stay indoors and all this, most people in this world are like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, yes. Anyway. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that subject. I know there's a lot of you veterans that are thinking the same thing I am. But anyway, uh, I hope that these videos are bringing you guys some encouragement and if you have any uh, thing you'd like to share with us or any ideas for for new videos just leave it in the comments and if you don't mind uh, please support our channel by liking comment and subscribing on these videos and I will wrap up day two please if you can let Ryan know how important he is to this series that he needs to start coming back for day uh, for day three so I appreciate you guys. God bless you guys. Uh, God has gave me so much peace. I know I said it once before, but I, I, I'm just, I'm, I feel so peaceful, man. And it feels good, okay? Uh, let's not fight, argue about opinions, about who's buying what. Let's just be there for each other. In my mind, think about it this way. What if we came back to the way we were after 9-11? I mean, like after 9-11, Everybody just gelled, man. It didn't matter your race. It didn't matter anything. It was just like, boom, the country together. Let's do that again. Forget all this. If I buy 1,700 rolls of toilet paper and you don't like it, who cares? If you do, if you buy all the sanitizer, I like, whatever, man. Let's just pull together. Let's prevent the spread of this thing. Let's beat it. Let's uh, learn the lessons from it. Enjoy the time. And let's uh, be there for each other. God bless every single one of you. And I'll see you on the next episode.